they all talk about it. It's not, it's not the if, it's when, and uh, you, you just hope that you come through it okay. A motorcyclist is sharing a warning from his hospital room after surviving a crash last week in Knoxville. He hopes his story will serve as a message to everyone behind the wheel to keep your eyes on the road and on the lookout. The Tennessee Highway Patrol reported 124 motorcycle crashes in 2017 in the 11 counties that make up the Knoxville district. 53 this year alone and five of those have been deadly. And those numbers don't include crashes worked by local police and sheriff's departments. Tonight, WBIR 10 News reporter Shannon Smith brings us the shared message from that injured biker and state troopers. In a hospital room is the last place anybody wants to end up, but that's the reality for Travis Walker, who hopes his story can help others prevent getting in motorcycle accidents. This is Travis Walker. This is Travis Walker's motorcycle. I'm extremely lucky to be here right now, which you know, there's a reason why I have such a positive attitude, I guess. Walker was riding his motorcycle on Clinton Highway last Thursday when a car turned into his path. T-boned that person and uh, kind of flew about 50 feet in the air and slid another 50 feet. The driver of the car was charged with failure to yield, driving with a revoked license and no insurance. And now Walker is dealing with a slew of injuries. And I had a collapsed lung, a broken rib. I degloved my hand. I broke my foot. I broke in my, my shoulder blades. He says he'll be fine, but doesn't like how common motorcycle crashes can be. Just in people that I know, including myself, within the last month, there's been five accidents. The Tennessee Highway Patrol says that's because people aren't looking for motorcycles. They're smaller, faster, and easy to miss. Look out for the motorcycles. You know, take that extra look if you're pulling out on the roadway. Look back again. Make sure. I mean, uh, I mean, last year I almost pulled out in front of one. I mean, it, it can happen to anybody. That's a sentiment Walker can't stress enough. Look that extra second because you know, these people who ride these motorcycles have children, they have families. He has a long road to full recovery and hopes no other person has to experience any kind of crash. Somebody was definitely looking out for me that day. I have no doubt about it. Walker was scheduled to be discharged today and he says he's just lucky to be alive. Back to you. Wow, what a story. Thank you, Shannon.